Hey y'all, today we're going to compare the Texas Instruments TI-30XIIS versus the Casio FX-115ES+. Plus. So this is actually the version one of this. I'm an engineer, I've been an engineer for a little while, so I have the first version. The only difference of the first version and the second version is this row right here. The newer version, you'll see the buttons are separated in this section and they're a little bit more aligned. Other than that, exact same as the first edition. So actually I have had this one in my work bag for probably a decade and it's still going strong. It's always had a battery life. I've never had to worry about it. I do turn it off every time, but it does have an auto off. Both of them do. It's just a lot easier to work with on the go. Whereas the Casio is great when you're doing that desk work because you can get those more detailed functions. It's great just to kind of work with that way. So both of them have these great little covers in the Casio. You can see it opens up. It has the crib sheet that is attached to it, but it slides nicely. The thing I like about the Texas Instruments is that when you go to slide it, it's got this little lip right here. So you can just give it a push instead of having to push on top of the cover or the calculator itself. What I like about the cover itself is that it has this removable crib sheet. So you're able to have two sides to this one. The text is a little bit bigger. It's easier to read, or you could replace it with something that you put in there yourself. They're just about the same size. The screen size is uh, about the same. The Casio is a little bit bigger, but it does have three rows on it. So you'll see once I turn them on, the text size is actually about the same. The difference is, is that to turn the Casio off, the power button is a little bit non-intuitive. So on is here, but to get it off, it's all the way down here. For the TI, the nice thing I like about it is that it's got the on off switch button is the exact same button. So just second button and then turning it off. The other thing I like about the TI is the feel of it in your hand. So it's got a little bit of a contour on it to where when you hold it, it's easy to walk around and kind of work on it. I find I like the Casio better for when I'm like sitting at a desk or if I'm punching keys that way, it's a lot easier to work with. It also has so many functions. It's got three different sets of functions on each button versus the double functions of the TI. So TI is just a double button right here. Feel of the buttons with the TI is amazing. It's just easy pushes, easy to work with. Everything's well thought out really for your thumbs. Whereas with the Casio, you can utilize it with your thumbs, but I find myself using it more as this kind of calculator. Overall, they're both great calculators. I think you can't go wrong either way. I just find myself gravitating more towards the TI just because it's just a simpler version of a fancy calculator. Whereas with the Casio, it's a great one that I keep in my desk. I'm able to utilize it for those more complex functions. It does quite a bit more, but I don't find myself needing to do all of those functions every single day.